Greetings. This is Elder Blacklight. In our last uh, video, we were talking about aiding and abetting a conspiracy to fraud the whole American system and including his own people but his own people going, went along with it because they understood that it was a means for them to have an extension of time on the planet because they got the black man hoodwink and bamboozled taking all his energy and his time to preserve their life on the planet. And I start off uh, giving you the meaning of aiding and abetting. Then I gave you an executive order. Now this executive order, I failed to tell you who it was, who was the president who gave this order. It was Franklin D. Roosevelt. Again, I'm going to read it. It says, under the executive order of the president, issued April the 5th, 1933, all persons are required to deliver on or before May the 1st, 1933, all gold coins, gold bullion, and gold certificate, now owned by them to the Federal Reserve Bank, branch or agency, or to any member bank of the Federal Reserve System. Executive order by Franklin D. Roosevelt. You can look that up. And then it goes on to tell you for further information, consult your local bank. It says gold certificates may be identified by the words gold certificate appearing therein, thereon. The serial number and the treasury seal on the face of a gold certificate are printed in yellow. Be careful not to confuse gold certificate with other issues which are redeemable in gold but which are not gold certificate. Federal Reserve notes and United States notes are redeemable are, notes are redeemable in gold but are not gold certificates and are not required to be surrendered. Special attention is directed to the exceptions allowing under section 2 of the executive order. Criminal penalties for violation of executive order is $10,000 fine or 10 years imprisonment or both as provided in the section 9 of the order. So all of uh, the politicians, all of you, this whole political system, the court system, everyone uh, went against the Constitution. Yeah, I got the Constitution right here. You know, and the Constitution uh, made a law saying Congress is to print, for, to use for money nothing but gold and silver. You know, <laughs> then, then how did the Federal Reserve over, override the Constitution? Well, I gave it to you on Jekyll's Island back in 1909, somewhere around there. And then 1913 and 14, they uh, passed the uh, Federal Reserve Act. Then in 1933, they took all the gold. Now, since you know, since uh, it came out into the light, it's been out in the light. And all your black politicians knew about it. All your black lawyers, they know about it. But this is, this is the way to keep the system going. If you don't understand, you might know about it, but you don't understand it. Because you say, well, I can take this, this uh, dollar, this uh, uh, counterfeit dollar, and buy anything I want with it. 
But so 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 you got some uh, uh, illusions that you're buying something, and then next thing you know, you hear you in a, the United States is in a multi-trillion dollar debt, and the, and the taxpayers has got to pay it off, and then wars, just starting wars, uh, not not calling for war, but just going over there and just jacking people up. I'm going to read something to you in this law book. Conspiracy. A combination of two or more persons to commit a criminal or unlawful act or to commit a lawful act by criminal or unlawful means or a combination of two or more persons by consorting actions to accomplish and an unlawful purpose. So Jekyll, Jekyll, Jekyll's Island was a conspiracy. And y'all wondering why, you know, uh, they can shoot you up, kill you, knock down your doors, kill you on the street, kill you. And an average white woman could see a black man just just chilling on his porch and call the police and say, I see a black man breaking in and they don't question her or nothing. They just come right away and uh, attack, really, the, the black man, the police do. And you wonder why our black <laughs> police officers go along with it. Because they, cause, uh, you know, they, they're ignorant. You know, they don't know nothing, you know. They refuse to learn about what's going on on YouTube. The brothers, they don't tell you what you really need to know because you're entertained by their beefing with one another. They're debating with one another, talking about each other's mama and saying their wife is ugly. Y'all like that, you know, because, uh, you know, either you're cowards or you lazy, don't want to know nothing. Yeah, you got the right, you know. To uh, rise up and uh, you know get mad if you want to, but y'all scared to. Let me read something, you know, to all y'all uh, YouTube, the YouTube community. Yeah, I'm gonna got to read this because y'all said I was teaching hate. And uh, y'all said that uh, the community, you know, going to ban me. You know, they, they want to ban me. From uh, teaching... Uh, from uh, having my uh, you my uh, my YouTube video, uh, if I keep on doing it, y'all gonna ban me, right? I responded by saying, "With Jesus, you know, uh, ban Jesus, then ban the Bible." This is uh, St. John 8, 44. Jesus was talking to the, to the Jews. And uh, he told them this. He said, ye are of your father, the devil. He told the Jews this. See, because the Jews run everything, you know, they... They always talking about, uh, you know, when you say something about Jews, you know, you Jew bashing or, anyway, so he, uh, 
ye are of your father, the devil, and the lust of your father ye will do. He was a murderer from the beginning, and abode not in the truth, because there is no truth in him. When he speaketh a lie, he speaketh of his own, for he is a liar and the father of it. And because I tell you the truth, ye believe me not. Which of you are convinced of sin? And if ye say the truth, why not do ye not believe me? So we got it there that the uh, Bible, God said he hated a whole lot of a whole lot of a lot of uh corrupt things you know, called them names and you know he he talked about homosexual he say a man should not lie with a man a woman should not lie with a woman that's an abomination y'all ain't condemning the bible cuz the uh pope the y'all pope you know that's how he get paid off that bible Cause he know y'all don't know how to read it right, and when y'all don't realize Muhammad taught us how to read it and get the real deal out of it, you know, and we speak up for ourselves on this YouTube, your Jew partners, you know, uh, want to shut us down. And so, but ain't no such thing as freedom of speech no more. Ain't nothing. In the Constitution, valid. It's been closed down. It's been shut down. This is Black Light saying, sleep tight. Don't let that devil bite.